Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service Seattle, Washington office presentation on lightning safety. Lightning is a rarely seen phenomenon in western Washington with only an average of about 10 thunderstorms a year, but don't let that fool you. Lightning is extremely dangerous and it is important to know the proper safety precautions when lightning threatens. To outline the contents of this lesson, first we will talk about a few lightning facts. Then we'll give a brief definition of lightning, followed by an explanation of how lightning is formed. Next, we will discuss lightning safety tips, including information on bolt from the blue, side flash, indoor safety, outdoor safety, and the catcher's position. Finally, we'll conclude with a brief summary. Let's start with a few lightning facts. There are an estimated 8 million lightning flashes every day in the world, with 100 strikes occurring every second. However, the chance of being struck by lightning is only 1 in 60,000. Although the probability is quite low, 23 people in the U.S. were killed by lightning in 2013. One reason lightning is so dangerous is that it can reach 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly five times the temperature of the surface of the sun. Another reason lightning is so dangerous is its ability to stretch several miles across the sky. The average length of a lightning strike is two to three miles long and only as wide as a quarter. You may find yourself asking what exactly lightning is. Well, lightning is a result of an electrical building and discharge of positively and negatively charged areas. When one area has an abundance of negative charge and another area has an abundance of positive charge, the protons and electrons from those areas come together in hopes of returning to a neutral state. As a result, a bright flash occurs known as lightning. Lightning, more often than not, is present in all types of thunderstorms and has been known to occur during volcanic eruptions and forest fires. The overall process of lightning formation takes quite some time to complete. First, the positive and negative charges have to distinctly separate. The rapid rising and falling of air in thunderstorms, which causes ice crystals that are present to frequently collide, accomplishes this. These collisions generate a charge within the ice crystals, either positive or negative, kind of like the charge separation that can occur when you rub your shoes on a carpet. The negatively charged ice crystals group near the base of the thundercloud, whereas the positively charged ice crystals group near the top. The negatively charged base then causes the ground below to accumulate a positive charge, which sets up the opportunity for lightning to strike. Once the ground has accumulated a positive charge, a negatively charged channel known as a stepped leader emerges from the base of the thundercloud. As this is occurring, positive charge from the ground begins to rise towards the stepped leader. Once they meet, a return strike occurs, creating a bright flash known as lightning. Lightning striking from a negatively charged area is the most common type, but lightning can also strike from a positively charged area, which can be much more dangerous. Knowing proper lightning safety is important when dealing with this deadly act of nature. As a result, we'll discuss several ways to stay safe indoors and outdoors when lightning threatens. The first thing to know is how, away, how far away lightning is. To solve this, you watch for the lightning. Once you see it, you begin to count in seconds until you hear thunder. Once you hear thunder, you take the number you counted to and divide that by five. That answer is roughly the number of miles the lightning is from you. When a storm is in the area, it's important to always be aware of your surroundings. Although the storm is not directly over you, you are still in danger of being struck by lightning. A bolt from the blue is a lightning strike that occurs several miles away from the storm. These lightning strikes are commonly from the top of the cloud and are extremely dangerous. They have been known to travel up to 30 miles away from the storm. These lightning bolts have far more power than the ones emerging from the base of the cloud, so that they can travel this much further distance. This is why it is critical to seek shelter before and after a thunderstorm is present, because as long as you can hear thunder, you can get struck by lightning. Side flash is one of the most common killers among lightning-related deaths. A side flash is when lightning strikes one object and is transferred to another nearby object. 
The most common occurrence is when people seek shelter from rain under trees. The trees end up getting struck by lightning, and the lightning then jumps to the people underneath it. An example of this was at a USGA golf match in Minneapolis many years ago. A thunderstorm developed, and many people took shelter underneath a large tree. That tree happened to get struck by lightning, and a side flash occurred, killing one and injuring the rest. Most lightning fatalities and injuries in western Washington are the result of people seeking shelter under a tree in a thunderstorm. This is why it's very important to never seek shelter under an isolated tree. Whenever a storm is approaching, the primary safety precaution to take is to always seek shelter in an enclosed building. Once indoors, avoid using all appliances. You may even want to unplug appliances such as your television, washer, and dryer, since lightning has the ability to travel through the electrical systems, pipes, and phone lines. As a result, you should not shower or use the phone. However, cell phone use is fine. The last, and definitely not the least important rule, is that you should stay indoors 30 minutes after you hear the last thunderclap. This is important because, although you may not hear thunder, there is still the possibility of getting struck by lightning because it can travel such long distances. If you cannot seek shelter indoors, the next safest place to go is a vehicle. The metal frame grounds the lightning if the vehicle were to get hit, leaving anyone inside unharmed. This is if the windows are all rolled up and no one is touching any metal devices in the car, such as the radio. It is also important to be aware of your surroundings and make sure that you are not in danger of a tornado or flash flood. If you are in a large open area with no shelter available, you want to avoid being the tallest object or standing near the tallest object. Being isolated makes you an ideal target for lightning or side flash to occur. Also avoid holding metal items that are capable of carrying an electrical current. If you are near a forest, find the most dense area and stay there. Since you are surrounded by so many taller objects, there is a lower chance of being struck. There may be times when you are caught outdoors during a thunderstorm and shelter is not available. In that case, always keep low. If you begin to feel a tingling sensation on your skin or your hair stands on end, you're about to get struck by lightning. Immediately take the catcher's position, where you crouch as low as possible to the ground on the balls of your feet, with your elbows on your knees and your hands over your ears. The catcher's position minimizes your contact with the ground. Critical, since lightning travels through the ground and can impact anyone standing in the area. This position also reduces your chance of being severely injured if directly struck by lightning, or if the ground nearby is struck. Lightning may be beautiful, but it is also very dangerous. Before going outdoors, always check the forecast to know whether there is a threat of thunderstorms. If while you're out there is a storm, Always seek shelter in a fully enclosed building. If you can't get to a building, seek shelter in a vehicle with all the windows rolled up. If you're caught outdoors with no available shelter, be sure to avoid large open areas and isolated objects and stay low and minimize contact with the ground. Remember, lightning can travel from less than one mile all the way up to 30 miles from the storm. Always be aware of your surroundings and be prepared to take action if needed. We hope that you've enjoyed this lightning safety presentation. For your latest forecast, please visit www.weather.gov Seattle. For more information on lightning safety, please visit www.lightningsafety.noaa.gov. And remember, if lightning roars, stay indoors.